So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I will teach you how to create shoe balancing animation without using any third party add-on. See guys, that's my really cool animation. Guys, it's looking really good. So now guys, I teach you how I create this type of balancing animation. So stop and guys, close. Guys, I already download some shoe model. See guys, that's my shoe model. I download from Sketchfab. Right, so guys, go to on here. See, guys, that's my Sketchfab add on and go to on search and guys, type like a shoe, enter and guys, click on here. See, guys, that's my different, different style of shoe model. Guys, you can apply any models dependent on your work. So, I already create single layer model. So, guys, select this one and up. So, apply on here this one. So, guys, firstly, I take camera and camera check so guys set your camera angle so i create new collection and guys camera go to on here so guys select your camera and guys i change this one that's my size guys resolution 1080 and y1 1920 okay so guys now select this one and alignment so rotate guys you can hide this one and hide this one yes so guys press one and guys rotate your shoe model like this yeah go to on here and like a zero and guys go to on here and rotate rotate like this guys create randomly rotate and guys i apply on here this position and guys little bit down like this yes see guys that's my simple balancing position and guys you can rotate more so guys press 3 so rotate okay this one is good and guys here yeah and yeah good so guys select this one and i apply on here press 1 so go to on up and guys again rotate rotate like this so you can apply this one position up yeah this position is good and guys select this one and press one and up and rotate rotate like this like a 90 and guys again rotate yeah good and up so guys apply on here more yeah and guys little bit down little bit yes good okay so guys press 3 and change position yeah and guys select this one and same go to an up and change rotation like this and guys press 3 so go to one here yeah good so guys select this one last and go to one up and guys rotate like a 180 and again rotate yes good so guys press 3 and attach on this shoe yeah see guys that's my simple position and rotation effect okay so guys now i change this time center axis so guys select this one this shoe model press one and go to on here that's my viewport shading and guys now guys select this part so guys edit mode edit mode check and guys now select point that's my vertex see guys i select only one vertex go to on here mesh and snap and guys see that's my cursor to select it check yeah so go to on object mode guys i change only syntax axis so object and set origin and origin to 3d culture check yeah so guys go to on here and guys select rotate so guys i create rotation like this see guys that's my simple rotation and guys i change all syntax axis so guys select this one and same go to on here 
go to an edit mode select point select this one that's my syntax is point and go to on mesh snap and cursor to select it check so object mode and origin and origin to 3d cursor check yes so guys i apply same center axis so guys select this one guys i create fast forward okay so guys i change all center axis so guys now next one i create parenting parent effect so guys select this one second one and select first one and press control p so guys object keep transform check and select third one so select this one and press control p and object to keep transform yeah and guys select this one and select this shoe and guys same so guys select this one and select this one and keep transform and lastly select top and bottom press keep object transform check yes okay so guys i show you my objecting so guys select rotation and rotation like this right i create rotation like this so select this one yeah good see guys that's my simple rotation effect and change syntax is so guys select this one and change yes good okay so guys all is good and now guys press zero for camera and guys set your camera angle like a 90 zero and zero and guys go to unpack up yes good yeah like a minus 25 so guys little bit change this one position so guys go to on here up and guys i like this one change position this position is good for me yeah good press again zero so guys little bit change camera so guys select your camera and up yeah good and back yes okay so guys now i create movement animation on all shoe so guys select this one and go to on here graph editor graph editor check so guys see that's my graph editor and go to on here See guys, that's my rotation. So guys, you can change this one. Y-axis rotation. And guys, Y-axis check on Z1 frame. So guys, go to on here, modifier. And I apply noise. This one, noise check. See guys, that's my noise. And guys, play. Yeah. See guys, that's my noise effect. So guys, too much faster. So create smoothness. So like a 50. Yeah. See guys, that's my smoothness. Again, go to on camera and play. Yes. So guys, you can change strength like a 0 0.5. Yes, good. It's good, right? And guys, same. Stop. Select this one and change position. Guys, see, I create rotation like this. So same y-axis check and modifier and add modifier noise and same. So guys, scale size like a 80 and strength like a 0 0.5. And again, check. Yeah, much better. See guys, that's my really cool shoe movement animation balancing effect. So stop and go to on here, third one. And guys, rotation. So guys, I change rotation. This one, X1, right? I create X rotation. So X rotation, check and add modifier noise and play yeah okay so guys same scale size i like 120 stand like a 0 0.6 guys i create randomly scale size and strength position so guys play yeah good okay so guys now i change this one scale size like a half 60 okay so guys play yes yeah much better and guys strength like uh, i take 0 0.8 again play yes good okay so guys all is good and now stop so guys select fourth one and guys i change position actually rotation x1 so x rotation check and modifier noise 
so guys see that's my axle rotation and like uh, i take 80 and strength like a 0.7 and again play yeah good see guys that's really cool and lastly guys stop so guys go to back on here lastly and it's my y rotation yeah it's my y rotation check so modifier noise and guys go to on here so guys closer and guys i take like a 50 stand 0 0.5 and again play yes good see guys that's my really cool balancing effect yes and guys now go to on timeline guys my all animation is finished and go to on here so guys go to on camera and play yeah great okay see guys that's my final work it's looking really good and guys now i create background so guys i create plane and plane size press one and guys okay so guys now go to on back so guys i change this one that's my cursor this one so guys cursor go to on center so press shift s and cursor to world check yeah and again i take plane plane check and guys i increase plane size so guys press one so guys I apply on here yes good guys select this one and little bit down yeah good okay so guys now increase size and go to on edit mode edit mode check so guys select this one and press e and g enter go to on here and guys now i apply bevel so go to on here and i apply bevel general bevel check so guys bevel amount 0 0.2 and strength like a 30 more smoothness and right click shade smoother so guys select this one background and i create simple material so material like this yeah and roughness 0 0.3 enter so guys all is good and now guys i apply lighting so guys you can apply any environment texture like this but i like this one artistic texture this one studio yes and guys now lastly i apply light so guys i use this time area light light and area light so increase size so like a power power i like a 250 and size i like 10 yes and guys now duplicate this light press shift d so shift d enter and go to on here and down yes so guys rotate rotate like this and guys select this one 0 0.1 light and rotation 90 yes and press 0 yeah so guys now i change render setting cycle render and divide gpu check so guys i show you my one frame render so render image check okay so guys my render is finished see guys that's my final render and guys my render is looking really beautiful right it's looking really good and guys close so guys now go to on here and guys frame rate are like 30 fps and output guys i create jpeg render sequences and create new folder and take any file name accept check okay so guys my work is finished and now lastly play yeah see guys that's my final work guys my balancing dynamic animation it's looking really good right so stop and render and render image check okay so guys that's it my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you Thank you.